Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode here of Just Stolen. Today we're gonna be playing some more Fire Emblem Reckon No Blazing fucking chapter 26 fucking... We're gonna be playing Fire Emblem and we're gonna be doing this chapter today, guys. And I'm excited because it's gonna be great. It's a good chapter. I remember it being like a good balance of difficult but not quite... Too, not too bullshit. Um, you remember back when Pent, like, did the thing and died when he was a green unit? Dylan, show that. If you live this, only to then not use an elixir. Er, let my guard down. Yeah, that thing. So, like, this could be a thing that happens again with a different character this chapter, and that's the only part of this chapter that's bullshit. The rest, it's a great chapter, though. I remember this chapter better than almost every chapter, ever, in the whole game, because I always loved it when I was a kid. It was a good chapter. Uh, anyway. Two assassins in the employ of the Black Fang move in. They've been set loose in the palace to murder the Crown Prince, Zephiel. Elowood hurries to prevent them from fulfilling... Wow. Already with this. Elowood hurries to prevent them from fulfilling their contract. There you go, Dylan. There you go. Speak words. Thanks. Chapter 26, Battle Before Dawn. Here we go, here we go. Pretty excited. The prince's room! Is that, is that the door? General Murdoch, the prince's bodyguard, should be away. The king concocted some air in the call from Zephiel's side. There are no guards around. This is an easy job, isn't it? I I can't do I can do this. This is my first mission, you know? I guess I'm a little nervous, but I mustn't fail. I mustn't let mother down. Are you ready, Jafar? I've no desire to be a part of your blundering. If you fail, I will, without hesitation, finish the target, and then you. What? Do not be so naive as to expect help from 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 friends. Remember that. I I knew that. You don't have to tell me. I'm a member of the Black Fang, after all. Ha <laughs> I won't fail. I'll become worthy. I will. Mother will be proud of me. She will see the daughter I've become and she will love me. It's a shame I gave her that voice. I love her character. <laughs> there are no cards. It's just like we were told. But something strange. Listen, a voice. Someone's talking in the room. No, someone's praying. You're right. It's the prince, isn't it? I wonder what he's praying for. So many crude, awful jokes came to mind after she asked what he was praying for, and I'm so happy that I had the hesitance to not say any of them. Wow. <laughs> so inappropriate. I offer this prayer unto thee. My coming-of-age ceremony is tomorrow. As the Prince of Burn, I've tried. I've tried my best not to be an embarrassment to my father. And no, I've not met with his expectations. But I'll try harder. I'll please him. I vowed to do better. For him. Hear me. Tomorrow I will be a man. So this is my last wish as a foolish child. It's the same one I've asked of you every night for all these years, but... Please bring father and mother together again. Please let the day come when Guinevere and I and her mother, when all of us can live happily together in the castle. It's time. Oh, Jafar! What? Villain? Uh, that will leave him unconscious for quite some time. Now, the time has come for you to do your part. Do it. 
Okay, okay, okay. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's not happening. I, I said I can't do it. What did you say? I said I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't, I can't do it. Listen to him. All he wants is his parents' love to be accepted. That's all. Just like me, he's exactly the same character as I am. No matter how I try, mother is a fucking cunt. Her eyes are so filled with disappointment and she's a total bitch. She's always been a total bitch. Stop this foolishness. I told you. I will not permit you to ruin my opportunity. I know. Do as you must, Jafar. I don't give a fuck. Just do it. Fucking kill me, bitch. Fucking kill me. Do it. There we go. Nailed it. I'm ready to die. Come on. What? We're leaving. Hurry. Jafar! This is it. Come here. But, but if you do this... Jafar, you'll... Don't worry about me. Hurry up. No! Hello, Jafar. Finished already? Such magnificent skill. Is this why they call you the Angel of Death? Sonya told me that you were behaving oddly, but... It appears her fears were groundless. I'm sorry, it's not your first fault! It was me, the prince, I couldn't do it! I just couldn't do it! It's like killing yourself, you know? We're exactly the same person! Nino. What's all this? Why is the girl still alive? What? You received Lady Sonya's orders, did you not? You were to dispose of this worthless little. No! Hold your tongue. You will not speak another word. So that's how it is. Jafar, do you plan on betraying Lord Nurgle? I will not let Nino die. Get in my way and I'll kill you. Jafar! <laughs> so you have some human emotion in you after all. You always seemed just like those creepy morphs. I bet you didn't kill the prince either. Maxime. Yes, I'm here. Take your men and put out all of the lights. Block all the entrances. Your targets are Prince Zephiel and two traitors. Finish this before we draw attention to ourselves. Go! Go now. I'll buy you time. And no! You must come too, Jafar! Nino, you must live. You are worthy of living. Shoves her down a flight of stairs and sprints away. <laughs> Hold on. Dylan, future Dylan, cut back to hit Jafar literally shoving Nino down a flight of stairs. I cannot believe I never noticed that before. <clears throat> that is fucking hysterical. No, wait! Don't go, Jafar! This is the royal manse. The lights have been doused. That's the sound of fighting. What's going on? I don't know, but if they're still fighting, we might not be too late. Let's hurry, Ella Wood. We have to get inside. We have to protect the prince. Lord Elliwood, Lord Hector, look here. At long last, I've achieved my heart's desire. Your humble Merlin is as a wagon. Now I will be able to move with you. I can provide you with much better service now. Oh shit, guys. Our tent just turned into a cart. Fucking hashtag wheels life. I literally just dabbed in real life and nobody saw it. <laughs> <laughs> right, so as you can see, shit just got kind of real in there. There's a lot going on now. Um, this map is... Like I said, I really like this map, okay, first of all. But, let me say, this map has good design, alright? 
because it starts off and you have a branching path. You could go this way through this door, and that'll lead you down here and through some enemies. And then there's another branching path, and this path leads to not only where some of the reinforcements come from, where you could stop that and fight them off, but also it leads you down this way. So if you want to like have two path two groups go and then they split off and they can use this path to more safely like regroup and like switch up the groups and stuff like that that that's really nice over here you get down and Jafar is somewhere in this general area and that's cool because we have to save him and we also have to get these chests now the easy part is actually saving him and getting the chests right that's actually not all that hard but there's a thief over here that steals these chests, so it really forces you to want to try and get them because there's good items in the chests on this map. I don't remember what is in what chest. I remember there's an item I literally actually cannot fucking miss on this map. It's called a Delphi shield. It's in one of the chests. And what it does is if a wyvern, or not a wyvern rider, well I guess it would also work on a wyvern rider, I think. When a unit with a flying mount like a Pegasus Knight, a Falcon Knight, I guess a Wyvern Rider too, and a Wyvern Lord, probably. Um, when they're carrying it in, the, in their inventory, then arrows no longer deal effective damage to them. And since I'm using two, Peg or two Falcon Knights right now, I can't really miss out on that. I need that. Um, I think there's a Brave Lance or a Killer Lance or some kind of Lance in one of them. Um, maybe like a staff of some kind and a pair of boots. I know I need the boots too. Oh my god, I need the boots. Hector needs the boots. He needs to be getting promoted fucking movement, but he isn't. He moves the same as Ella Wood does, alright? That's shitty. We need to get Hector that movement. His move didn't increase when he promoted, which kind of sucks. <laughs> um, but yeah. And... So we have that, and Nino's over here too, so we gotta try and save her as well. Um, they're both recruitable. And um, in order to recruit Jafar, you need to have you need to recruit Nino, then have Nino talk to Jafar, and then also make sure Jafar doesn't die this chapter, because he remains a green unit uh, through this chapter, I believe, even if you talk to him with her. Um, the main actual mission is to protect Prince Zephiel, and he's here in this in his throne room. He wakes up. Um, and people will go and attack him, like Max, uh, like Maxime, Maxime's crew, I guess. And through all of that, we also have, uh, her down here. I don't remember her name. I already forgot her name. Lumstella? No, not Lumstella. Whatever, we'll find out in a minute. Um, she's down here, and I believe she's a Valkyrie, and I believe she has a long-distance casting tone, like Bolting. So that's kind of scary, and I believe Maxime is with her, with her down here, so it's like a double boss, and they move. So, at least, at least one of them does, if not both, I don't remember that, I don't, I don't actually know. Uh, and as you can see, because all the lights are dimmed, we have Fog of War. So it's like, there's so many mechanics, but there's also so many things to do, but it's just the layout of the map. And it's like indoors so the only cover you get from like the terrain is pillars and like that's it so it's like yeah you have to rather than using the the tiles to your advantage you have to use the actual terrain to your advantage like casting over walls and like in tight corridors making like a funnel with your defensive units and like it's just, it feels really good. I like this map a lot. So anyway, let's hop right into it. Enough rambling. Uh, that was a lot of rambling. So I'll be right back once I've done the preparations necessary, and I will catch y'all up on where I'm at. All right, Merlinus, we're doing it. Everybody, we figured out what we're doing here. Are you our tactician, Dolan? I'm Harkin. I beg your forbearance. Lord Ellawood has ordered me to follow your commands in combat care not where I meet death. Just guide me wisely. No worries. I don't plan on letting you die, Harkin. Alright, so. This is gonna look like a weird setup. I'm sure it looks weird. But hear me out. 
I'm forced to take Elowood, obviously. Um, it took Lynn because I really want to get her to level... I want to get her some more levels while I can. So I changed her loadout a little. I replaced the Worm Slayer with the Brave Sword. Because even though it weighs her down by 5, that makes her speed effectively 12. It ensures that she double taps, at least. If not, quadra taps. And the... The fucking might of, on it. I mean, she's got the skill for for a, a lower hit sword. Like, I don't know. Seems like a good good idea to me because I need to get her levels. So the brave sword just just seemed like a good idea. Um, Hector, we didn't change much. Rebecca, we changed literally nothing. We just brought her again. Um, so about Harkin, uh, I'm gonna be using him. I'm replacing Raven with Harkin right now, because I can't justify bringing Raven when Harkin looks like this. <laughs> I just can't. So, we're bringing Harkin. Um, this is the loadout for now. Uh, I think that there are knights on this map, so I brought an armor slayer. But basically, basically, if Harkin dies, then we'll use Raven again. That's it. If not, we're going to use Harkin for the rest of the game, because wow. Especially this. This is nice. Having a higher con than Raven. Such a boon. Honestly. Alright, and then we got Oswin. We're bringing Oswin again. He's rocking a hammer, because like I said, I think there's a knights. Uh, Pent here, you know, we give him the, the decent loadout. Priscilla, we give her the fire elf fire loadout. I give her fire over thunder. Uh, cause her con's low, and it's nice to have a weapon that doesn't weigh her down to take advantage of her speed. Cause the Elfire Tome will weigh her down by 5, cause her con is 5, and the weight of it being 10 minus her con of 5, then that, that reduces her speed by 5, so like... I don't know that we'll be finding many enemies with a speed of 7, <laughs> or lower, to double with. So it'll be nice to have the option, you know? And then... I brought Matthew because I need to get him to 20, and because having thieves on both sides of the map is going to be a good idea, um, and having thief vision torches on both sides of the map is a good idea. So I also brought Legault. I figured I want Matthew to get that level before I forget. I want to promote Matthew after next chapter, and if I do that, I don't want Legault to be too low level either. So if I, if I can, I'm going to try to get him a level or two this chapter. Because, like I've been saying, when you promote a thief, they lose the ability to pick locks when they get, become an assassin. So I really don't want to not have a thief that can, you know, survive a hit or two. I want to try and trim the galt a little bit. You never know. He'll, he'll probably be good. He has a con of nine, by the way, better than Matthew, so he can wield this without being slowed down, so I gave it to him. Um, and then we have Merlinus here. So Merlinus can move now, and it's awesome. Uh, that means that not only is he such a good, like, te uh, evade tank because of his stats, but he can keep up with us. We don't have to fucking sit around and guard his stupid ass anymore. It's I'm just super excited about that. So, like I said, we have to... Uh, try and recruit Nino and Jafar. Nino's down here. She's rocking an Elfire and an Elixir. She's a level 5 mage. Um, and her stats are, you know... The thing about Nino is, her growths are outstanding, and if you give her the Aphis drops, she can be good if you really, really chip away at grinding her. But it's such... It's just such a late-game recruitment, right? Because the game is coming to a close soon. Uh, I think... I think there's 30 chapters, and then final chapter. Like, after chapter 30, I believe we have final chapter, so... <sighs> it's too hard to train her, I won't be doing it this playthrough, even though she's one of my favorite units. So... Then we have Zephiel over here, lying unconscious right now, he's got a silver sword and an elixir. His stats aren't terrible, you know? But we have to defend his ass, so they might as well be. And then we have Jafar. He's an, he's an assassin. He's what I want Matthew to turn into. Holy shit! Jafar's stats just start off insane. So, 
obviously we'll be using him if we recruit him. Um, Matthew would be his competitor, so let's see. 19, 25, 24. 9, 10, 20. 13, 10, 3. 10, 15, 11. Yeah, like, Jafar is way better, but... I've been using Matthew, and he's my favorite character, so... I'm probably going to promote him and use him and Jafar off and on where I, where I, uh, where I can. Because Jafar is too good not to use ever. So. Yep, that's about it. Also, I remembered her name down here. Her name's Ursula. I, somehow it slipped by me and I remembered while I was doing the, the, uh. <sighs> What's it called? Prep battle preparations. Jesus. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and... So I didn't bring Nini in this time in favor of having Matthew and Legault. Oh my good God. Honestly, this isn't a big deal except for the hero with a silver sword. Um, not weighed down at the speed of 16, okay. Hi. Not a fan of that shit. Alright, I really need to get Hector Boots, man. I'm gonna move Elwood over here. So that's... Right, I was gonna send Rebecca this way. Okay. Oh, but I could have Rebecca kill this person real quick. Before that. That's not a bad idea, actually. It would just help thin their numbers a little bit. I'm gonna go for it and then catch her back up over there. Or should I send Rebecca to the right now that I've moved her? I want to move Lynn this way to talk to Nino. Uh, it's hard to say. I need Oswin this way. I need a good frontliner, so I need to send Harkin this way. Yeah, I guess I'll... Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll just move Rebecca back after. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to move Pent up. But I'm not going to do that yet. Start with Harkin. Alright, and we brought the Axe Reaver. So it's nice that we one-shot the Hammer guy, because that would have been... Actually, I would have only done six, because Oswin is such a good tank. Good level. I would have liked a little more res, but... Or, not res, uh, defense. But, uh, I'm okay with you getting more res. That's fine, these are good stats. Good, good general stats. So what do you have? Uh, Steel Axe. All right, all right, all right, bad. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And let's see how our first enemy phase goes. Let's check out Jafar, shall we? Okay, so, first of all, crit 42, that's insane. Assassins get bonus crit just for being assassins. Um, also, as you saw, there was like a pow, pow, pow at the end with the like red and black. After he did that like auto kill attack there, that crit. Um, it literally is a one shot kill no matter what. Assassins have a chance to get the assassinate where they just instantly kill their target regardless of the damage. So, we just saw that happen. That wasn't a normal crit. They, when they crit, sometimes they just get the assassinate and they just kill them, no matter what. It's insane. Ah, uh, ow, what's... My room. Oh, that man, he's gone. What's going on? Ah, oh, we're under attack. Coming this way, 10, 20, I have to get away. No, that's wrong. That's not the way. If I run, they'll simply follow and surround me. Rather 
than one, I should wait and face him here. Hmm. Rather than one. I'm gonna one away. Ba da ba pa pa pow. Yep. He got the assassinate off. It's crazy. Jafar's insane. What level's Jafar? Thirteen. These are fantastic stats to have seven levels left, though. Like, damn. What is this druid carrying? Oh, he's got an earth seal. I guess that's, um... We don't have a knight's crest, so I guess it's useful if we lose Wa uh, Oswin. We need Wallace. Also, I gave Lynn the, uh, talisman, so her rise is nine now. Because when she promotes, she gets a bow, like I said, and she'll be better at killing mages that way. And Lucius isn't here, but I gave him the speed wings. Because he has a relatively low con, and I want him to be able to use his tomes a little bit better. So I did that. Okay, Matthew's gonna unlock this door. Huh. Let's see, steel, silver, steel. So, if I place... Damn! I can't draw this turn, that sucks. I don't have a way to draw this turn, and that really sucks, but... Oh well. Oh wait, Sword Reaver, hell yeah. Hector the Sword Reaver should do the job well enough. Alright. Let's get the Rebecca moving over here too now. Um... Use another torch. I know that that I don't have to spam the torch like I do, but I really don't care. I think this is the last Fog of War map, so it doesn't really bother me at all to do it, you know? Um, I'll just get this guy with Pent. Do it up, Pent. Lord Pentu. Nice. I find it funny that his name is Pent, but he uses, like, weird, uh, hexagrams instead of, like, pentagons. Hexagons. Why did I say hexagrams? I don't know why I said that. Oh, well. Um, one, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, next turn, next turn. For now, let's just get everyone moved in. Move Marlinus over here. Alright. Oh, he just opened it on his own. Neat. Good thing I had the Axe River on then. That's uh, pretty fortunate, actually. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Ugh. I want you guys to fuck off. Auto assassinate, didn't even matter. So, honestly, the problem with Jafar is that it, all he's got is a killing edge. So, like, there's a chance he just breaks his weapon because there's so many enemies. It's like he could get overwhelmed after his weapon breaks and die easily, and that kind of is shitty. But. I mean, it is what it is, it just means that I have to rush to get there. Which is why it sucks that I lost effectively what is an entire turn just now because Hector didn't have good move. Because I didn't set myself up in a way where I could properly like rescue, take, drop him or something. Place him in range. I fucked that up a little. Oh well. What you gonna do? I heard a door open. But it's not that door near Jafar, so it must be the other door. Yeah. 
Must be this door. Imagine. Uh, how can the Galt handle this mage? The Galt can easily kill the mage. Uh, so I'm gonna have the Galt do that. Come on, dude. Good job, the Galt. We need to get him XP, and we also need to help clear the way. Lane is... Ooh. Oops. Oops. And this is why Brave Sword is good on Lin. Check this out. Fuck it in, stand a chance. Fuck it in, stand a chance! Mmm! Look at that. Fucking didn't even get to attack. Did not even get to attack. Alright. Let's go ahead push this line a bit more. Put that hand axe. Um. I'm not even gonna bother healing the Galt right now. Honestly. Uh, Lolin is safe. Over here isn't. Equip the hand axe. That mage dies no matter what now. It's gonna put you here. All right, cool. Um, honestly, I think this is the good play. I don't think I should even bother putting Ellawood in range there like that, to be honest. Uh, so I'm not going to. I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna let Hector take those guys. He could totally tank them. There's no way Hector can't survive that. If Hector doesn't survive that, I'll eat my shoe. Fuck doing math. There's no way he'll die. I fucking believe in him. Power of friendship. And all that. Nice. Save all the uses on that edge you can, Jafar. I'm not really concerned about EXP, I just want you to live, because if you die, it'd be really sad. If I lost Jafar, that would be a really, really, really big loss. What would be nice is if, uh, after those guys killed him, or themselves, upon Hector, if Jafar would run up to, like, fight up top with, uh, near us so that I could go, like, rescue him. Because if I could get Hector, probably, would be the good candidate to do the rescue. Because his speed stat doesn't matter. <laughs> we don't use Hector because his speed is that great. Who cares about that? Honestly. See what I mean? He couldn't even double an unpromoted unit. <laughs> Oof, this guy. Good dodge, Jafar. Now, the other thing about Jafar is, if you guys remember a very long time ago, back when we were just arriving on the Dread Isle, Jafar was the one that killed Matthew's, uh, soon-to-be, uh, uh, blah, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? When you're engaged with someone. What, what is it called? How am I blanking on this right now? What is actually wrong with me? Whatever. Matthew's girlfriend, I'll just say that. <laughs> or rather, uh, implied girlfriend. Or at least implied, like, romantic partner. Romantic interest. Fuck! I really need to get over there. There's two of them? No. No. I need to move much faster.
Oof, yeah, it's gonna break soon, like I said. I don't care about the lockpicks, man. Legault has lockpicks. Untouched. I just need to kill these guys and get those items. Oh, man. And that one's out of range. A rescue staff would be so useful. Ah, it hurts. It hurts my fucking soul. Alright. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move Lynn down. As much as I want to move Harkin down that middle path to meet up with them on that side and clear out the reinforcements who will probably inevitably flank us, like over here. I don't think I can, because there's going to be promoted units to fight over here soon, and I just... It's going to be too rough. Alright, so... Let's go ahead... Well, wait. Yeah, you didn't even get touched. Let's go ahead and... Can you nuke this guy? No. But can you? No. Huh. What about you? Holy shit. Alright. So if I go, went ahead and did this. I think that's good. Because then I, could, I can now move. Let's see. Let's uh, get this torch going max again. Alright. Let's go ahead and just... Equip the Hand Axe to kill the mage, honestly. Oops. Uh, let's go ahead and do... How much damage will you do again? Let's hit him with an L fire, really blast him. Alright, that's good. He's only got 8 health. Uh, I, I'm gonna go for the brave because I want two chances. Specifically because I want two chances. Alright, good. Because if that motherfucker attacked Rebecca or Priscilla and killed them, I would be so angry. Honestly, I, that would I would have been livid, actually fucking livid. All right, things seem to be going okay at the very least. Hector got the first. Hector got the second! Worth it! So worth putting on the hand axe that turn. Hector, you're still a god. And I love you. I guess bringing two thieves was unnecessary, considering that the thieves get to the chest before you can. Oh well, though. My point still stands about needing Legault to gain XP, so... I guess I'm ultimately okay with that decision. If Legault gets a level or two, it was worth it because just survivability, man. Zephyr's already under attack? Jesus! I really need to get that rescue staff. Oh my god, I need to use that on Zephyr. No, they're too far away though! They're too far! Fuck! Ah, oh, fuck! Oh, 
I'll save it for next turn, I think. Use the Vulnerary. I'll have the opportunity. Damn it! I don't have the mobility to catch those assholes. Oh, Zephyr, you better be able to hold out till I get there, bud. I'm gonna come at I'm gonna come you really fucking fast, but you know. Just saying. Alright, let's go ahead and Just keep things as lit as possible. Um, yeah, you two are doing fine. I just want you to get moving in. Right above Hector is totally a-okay. Alright, you're moving right up in then. Yeah, why not? Give you a nice little top off. You never know. Oh yeah, we have physics staffs. We could heal Prince Zephyl if we need to. Oh shit. More people moving in. This is gonna be rough. This is gonna be rough. Oh my god, they're swarming him already. Why couldn't they give him a throne at least? I mean, I get that he's not, like, exactly in his bedroom or anything. He's in, like, a prayer room. <laughs> right? But still. Something. <laughs> Something. Those boots! I need those boots! I knew it. I called it. It was a brave lance. I called all of it. I was like, oh, there's a lance, I think. A staff, some boots. Delphi shield. <laughs> I think Jafar is going to have enough weapon durability to kill all of the units that rush him? <laughs> Assume, yeah. Because as long as that knight doesn't move, yeah. Um, so that's pretty rad. Let's see. Elfire will kill, so I'm gonna go for this guy right here and now. Needless crit! 75 damage. Good job, Priscilla. We got boots. Um, I'm gonna trade those to Hector shortly, so uh, <laughs> we could do without the heal staff for a little bit. I'm gonna trade those to Hector pretty quick, so. Really? I wish that hitting L to swap targets would prioritize targets that are like nearer to you. Shit. Oh well. Um. Alright, let's use this final torch on the vault now. At the very least, the vision is useful. I don't care if it's only four. You're still getting healed because Pent has nothing else he could do. Uh... Yep. Stop! Please stop! Nice! How's <laughs> that feel? Damn. Real strong for a green unit. Jafar, please. The thing is, even if I keep physic using Physic on him, it won't last. Because I'm pretty sure a hero goes up there. The last time I did this chapter, I'm pretty sure I remember a hero killing Zephyr. And they're fucking deadly. No! You! Jafar! Please tell me that you get the... Jafar, what the fuck?
Welp! Looks like we lost the Brave Lance too. Fuck me. I don't know if there's any more in the game. That's annoying. God damn it, Jafar. We lost the Brave Axe. And now this. And I'm getting a phone call. God damn it. And I'm back. At least it was a quick phone call. <laughs> damn it. Man, Matthew still hasn't gotten that little bit of EXP. I was right! There's a hero there! Fuck! Alright, um... Let's get Priscilla moving in then. We need everybody to move as quickly as they can now. This sucks. Let's go ahead and just keep Thief Vision over here. I need that Delphi shield more than anything. What should I have equipped? He's got swords. Do you have a sword reaver? Okay. Down one, left two from him. Okay, you can't reach the spot. All right, we're gonna do this again. Keep Zephyl alive. We need him alive. You, are you from the palace? The prince is in his room, save him. I'll take care of anything that happens out here. Wait, you're Nino, right? What, how? There's something I must tell you. What? But you must be lying. I'm sorry, but it's all true. Ninian and Nils are just innocent children. The Black Fang attacked us and tried to steal them away. They've become nothing more than tools of Nurgle. It can't be. I know you don't want to believe it, but it's the truth. The only truth. Nino, come with us. You understood the prince's feelings. I know you'll see what's right. All right, so we got Nino. And that would be super exciting and all. <laughs> if she didn't suck. <laughs> I just wanted to put the good stuff away <laughs> in the Merlinus first. <laughs> Before I did anything. Two heroes! Oh no, two heroes. Oh no. This sucks. Everyone's gonna have to meet up ASAP. Those thieves better not run south to leave. If they run south to leave, I lost the Delphi shield. There's no way I could chase them down there. Ugh. Please, don't fuck me over that bad. Yes! Okay, there is a hope. I might be able to rescue Zephyl. Um, alright. So... Matthew, I need you to just get this guy out of Hector's way, dude. Just get him out of Hector's way. Thank you, good job. Level 20. Here we go, ding, ding, ding. Alright, alright, what's the final level? Strength? Mmm! Such a good level! Such a good level! Matthew! That's such a good level. Alright. Whoops. <sighs> Fuck. Can't move Priscilla in that far. <sighs> God. This, this is real rough. I can't move Priscilla in that far, so I need Hector to be, like, unburdened for a minute. <sighs> Alright. Get out of here. 
I got the Delphi shield, so we're gonna send that right away to the convoy. <sighs> nice level. We got that hot 20 defense. I mean, it's a little late, but at least we have the hot 20 defense now. <laughs> uh, all right, so next turn, he should run around Hector and go up this way. And at that point, we can kill him with someone and then trade the rescue staff over to Priscilla and hopefully get in range to rescue Zephiel. So the way the rescue staff works is it targets the same way that a physics staff does, except it targets an enemy. So I guess a sleep staff would be a good, com better comparison. Or no, I mean, it does do an ally, I mean. So physics staff is a good comparison. I don't know why I thought that for a second. Um, but what it does is when it targets them, instead of healing them or anything, it teleports them to a space adjacent to you. So we could totally use that for Zephyr in a minute if we get if we get lucky. If we get lucky with like the placement of him and everything. Yes. Go for it, Harkin. Is it worth it? That's more worth it. <sighs> if this guy does 9 damage to Pent... Alright. So if this guy has 21, does this guy also have 20? No, he has 22. So that's 19 damage to Pent. Plus 9 because this guy will get a second attack on him. So that'd be 28 damage to Pent. So then he'd have 6 HP, and his res is 16. And they can't hurt him. How much can you deal? Attack 22. Ooh, yeah, that would be a kill if, if you got hit by all of it. So I can't risk that. I can, however, put Pent here and go for that. Surely, because this guy wouldn't be able to reach him then, and your attack would be 17 versus the defense of 12, so 5 damage. 5 damage on top of what would be 19 damage, so 24 damage, because this first one will be free, and the casters can't hurt you. Alright. As long as you're not within range of that bolting from Ursula, this should have been a good decision. And if you are... Then I just threw away the one of the best characters. I don't know where she is. She, if she, I think she might be here or here. Let's see. Worst case scenario, she's right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, okay. Should be safe. It should be safe. It should be safe. It should be safe. I gotta keep saying it to make sure I believe it. All right. So I might be able to use the Galt to kill this guy. And if I do, then I can place him there. So let's go for it. Yeah, let's go for it. Nice one, the Galt. We'll get you that first level I wanted to get you. I will go ahead. You got speed luck. All right, that's fine. I, I just, as long as you cap speed, because that's the thief stat, you know? I'm not, I don't want you to be like a workable fighter so much as I want you to just cap speed like Matthew so that you could steal better. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and Merlin is here. Actually, I want to make sure that Nino doesn't die, so I'm just going to top her off now while I'm thinking about it. Um, yeah, okay. Because I need her to talk to Jafar still, that's like a win condition. Mage can attack below Illawood. Oh, I can't even reach. Okay, let's go ahead and just, uh... 
That should be fine. Ooh, Maxime went ahead and came out to put a stop to Hexer Hector's Sword Reverie. But uh, it didn't even matter because Hector's too good of a fucking unit. Ooh, there's the bolting. Tell me, are you afraid to die? Yes. Ah! Bitch, you actually hit. Damn. Actually hit. <whistles> Pent, I'm really relying on you right now, buddy. Please be a good level up. Nice? Alright, whatever. Works. Good work, does that feel? Alright. And yep, 10. Yep. Ow, and it hits. It connected. Weapon level increased. Oh, are you S now? Dope. Okay, so nine more. Yep. Ow, it connected, and you're dead. Okay. Pent is the fucking hero and the legend right now. Holy shit. I'm gonna have to make him back off in physics, Zephyl, in the next turn, I think. Damn, Pent is so valuable in this game. That's honestly a big reason why I don't use Louise. Because even though she has that A rank with him, and that is very good for both of them, and she's a good unit, if she dies, I lose Pent. Like, fuck that. If my archer dies, I want to just lose my archer. I don't want to lose the best fucking character in the game, arguably. He's such an asset. I can't, I can't risk that. I can't. Okay. Okay, so... Let's see, so half your magic would be nine. If you're standing here to use it, it'd be one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, block. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do that. I'm not gonna be able to do that. So I'm gonna have to just kick back and use the physics staff, uh, staff to keep him alive for now. Because honestly, it's worth it not to. Because we can't fail. Like, if he dies, we fail the chapter. So we have to keep him alive, obviously. Um, so you were able to hit Hector. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Whew. Honestly, the big problem is I need to get Matthew closer. Oh, wait. This might be good. Okay, so you have a bolting. So 3 to 10, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, you're exactly enough, far enough away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, that was very good positioning on my part for Matthew, then. I'm gonna go ahead and... I'm gonna light this guy up with the fucking wolf bail. That's what I'm gonna do. Take that, Maxime. I kept the wolf bail this entire time. Anyone who thought that that wasn't worth it can just go and rightly fuck themselves right now. Can you just, like... Ooh, not really. <sighs> Worth a shot! Nice! Good work, Rebecca. Alright, with Maxime out of the picture... Oh, what a bad level, damn it. Damn it, Rebecca. <sighs> Whatever. 
With Maxime out of the picture, this is a lot less terrifying. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So over here, they're safe. Up above the thief is safe from everyone. I want to increase the chance to hit, because the difference in damage won't matter. Eloid can finish it. So I'll go with the fire, because it's slightly more accurate. Well, magic went up, so I, I ain't even mad. I haven't had the proper opportunity to give Hector those boots yet, which is unfortunate. But, uh... I'm gonna go for accuracy again, so nice. Good job, Ellawood. Get that Thief EXP, you're really close to 20 now, and that's awesome. We got the rescue. It's unnecessary to have on our person now, since we've kind of fixed the Zephiel issue. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oof, dude, really? Um, let me recount. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you could get right up next to him, at least. Let's go ahead and just try to... We can just hit this. Nice! Overly flashy. I like it, Oswin. I really wanted him to do that. Just so we don't have to worry about it. Honestly, I'm going to go ahead and do one of these now. I was right to bring the fucking hammer. Tell you what. Tell you what. Alright, Harkin, you can rush in now, right? There we go. Buddy! Unnecessary crit, and I love you. Alright, things are going well. We have six more turns. Essentially, we just need to recruit Jafar. Um, Hector's still in range. I don't like that he's still in range. But I think he'll be fine. I hope he is. I hope he's fucking fine. I'll, I, I just... I, I don't want him to die. Oh my god. That'd be terrible. Please live, Hector. Really wish I'd healed you. Oh god! Hector, please! I, for, I can't believe I forgot to heal Hector. I'm just so used to Hector. Shrugging off everything. He got hit with two boltings. This is a nightmare scenario with Hector right now. It was like Lloyd all over again. Oh no, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. Yeah, the Lloyd scenario is fucking bullshit. Can we talk for a second about how he got a 3% crit? <laughs> To deal exact on Hector on the final attack where he could have during that combat round. I call bullshit on that. Absolute bullshit. Alright, Harkin, fuck this guy. There you go. Fuck that guy up. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, so... Let's get Rebecca on this shit. Pop him. Alright, so that's nice.
I really want to steal that Earth Seal, just in case. Because even if we can't, um, even if we don't lose Oswin and we don't need it, we could sell it later. Oh, Hector only took 25, you know he'll be fine. Even if she hits you, I think he'll be fine, because your res is equal to Hector's, right? Practically, practically, practically. You'll be fine. Oh, but there's this guy. Is he on speed? Con 6. Seven speed. No, he doesn't. You outspeed him. Okay. You should still be fine then if my math is not off. Let's go ahead. I kind of want to push in and kill Ursula so that I could go after that guy and hope to get that Earth's. You're out of torches, and you're out of torches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So she's right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if Legault, if anyone moves in front of Legault, they're fucked. Basically. <laughs> Let's go ahead and patch up all of Hector's wounds and move him forward, too. Whew. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. You won't get doubled, so you'll be fine. <laughs> you'll be fine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can't block you in any way. Twenty-five, fifteen. 15, 9, 24, you have bonuses too. Oh, but then you'll get zapped. Nope. I'm just gonna leave everyone where they are. Not for the best. We got another bolting coming from Ursula, targeting Oswin like I thought. Ow! Should only be a couple more of those to tank out. Damn, Hector. See, the Wolf Bale is so good early when you first get Hector. And it's so good late when you get the hammer. <laughs> so, like... There's actually no way I would ever use the hammer on something other than the bale. Like, I used it on the rapier, but I also used it on the bale is the point. you like, you can't not do that. It's fucking stupid. You're like gimping yourself if you do that. Nice. While carrying Jafar, she still doubled. That's pretty dope. Uh, yeah. Thought so. I remembered mathing how much damage they did and it being real low, so I just put him there. Forgot that it was zero, but I figured he'd live. He did, so that's good. I like how that guy just was like, alright, fuck it, I'm out. <laughs> fuck it, I'm out. I'm done. Bye. Alright. 
More reinforcements coming from the back, dude. We got four turns, and I think two more bolting, so this sucks. We'll just leave Rebecca here. They should run up an attacker from the fog. You know what's actually bullshit? Can we talk for one second about how fog of war affects us, but not the... I'm pretty sure that there's no reverse fog of war for their sight lines. I'm pretty sure they could just run out of the fog and strike you that turn. And that's kind of lame. That's kind of lame. That, 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 that's kind of lame. Can I, yeah, Eloid could probably get this kill. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do it, Ellawood. Get that level 20! Get that final ding! Alright, we got it early. A little bit early. But that's fine. Nice! Your res went up. I'm cool with that. It helps your jack of all trades in this. So, there's... After this chapter, as long as we meet the prerequisites, so keeping Jafar and Nino alive and having them talk, we get a guidance chapter again. And after that chapter, I believe Elwood either promotes that chapter, either he promotes that chapter, like at the beginning of the chapter, or the next one. I'm pretty sure it's that one, and that's good. So we got him to 20, so that he don't doesn't miss out, just like Hector. Now, hopefully, I think we got the other Heaven Seal at the end of this chapter, so. At the beginning of the next chapter, we might use it on Lin immediately, or get another level or so if we can. I didn't get to use Lin as much this chapter as I wanted. That's a little sucky, but whatever. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I can move Matthew a little closer for vision. This is the best the vision can do. Just shy of what is necessary. That's irritating. Um... Does anyone need a top off real bad? Yeah, Oswin does. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is as close as Pent can get. Not like he couldn't tank it though. the hand axe. I want Hector to be able to retaliate and kill these guys. Have I moved Oswin this turn? I think I did. No, I didn't. Okay. I'm gonna do this then. Same thing. Because they have, they have support together. Oh yeah, is it S? It is, that's awesome. <laughs> He's gonna have double S. Um, yeah. I'm thinking that maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, shit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Next turn, I would like to get her over here. I, I really want to get that conversation done before I run out of time. So I'm going to try and use a rescue staff using Pent. I think that's the play. I think it's worth using it once, just to make sure I don't fuck this up somehow. Because I've fucked shit up pretty badly in the past, man, and I, I don't want to take no goddamn chances anymore, alright? Thank you. 
give this in, take this and use this on you. And then we'll go ahead and we'll do a take and a drop. And then we'll do a talk. Jafar! Nino, I told you to flee. No, these people came and knocked me. Oh, this voice. I'm so sick of doing this Nino voice. Come with me! Go. It's no need to save a life without worth. Jafar? <laughs> wow, living on the edge. You're gonna cut yourself on all that edge. I am a corpse. I've been dead since the day I was born. Leave me. No. If you're not coming, then I'm staying. I'm Nino. There we go. <laughs> I was like, that's pretty much all they're gonna say, right? <laughs> okay. Um. It sucks that Merlinus can't, like, rescue since he has an aid of fucking zero. Let's go ahead. Make sure that Pent is topped off. I'm gonna. Maybe I should. I'm thinking maybe I should throw him at Ursula. I don't know. I really don't. I don't want to put anyone right here. I don't want to put them right there. I'm going to place Hector right here. Okay, you have one bolting left. Can I just kill you outright, somehow? There's no fucking chance. Alright. Let's go ahead. Maybe she'll target Elwood if I do that. That'd be neat. I just want to make sure... I, I want to get these, uh, these nice little bits of VXP where I can. I can't really do much about this, so... I can't, I, like, I can't move the Galt or Lin forward, really. Three. Thirty. So that'd be twenty-seven. Yeah, he can't move forward. Uh, nine. 21. Lynn can, but what's she gonna do over there anyway, right? It's shitty, but I guess her Monocati would really cut her up. A Monocati can't really be scoffed at in terms of usability. She's on a mount, so it would hurt. She would. I don't know, I still think the Wolf Bale would be the best bet to take her out. Continue killing yourself at the tip of my bow, please. Thank you. Please and thank you. All right. So, uh, it's not like this isn't doable. But you have an attack of 28, and Pent has a res of 16. Or 17. Oh, I should use you. Maybe I should just use both. Oh, Lin has a Brave Sword as well. Hmm. I know that that bolting is gone. I 
can move you in. And he was here, so he might kill himself on Hector. Is the problem. I'll go ahead and use the steel sword here. That way the shaman doesn't kill himself. I want to try to bait him. Get like all to steal that. <laughs> Assuming I can, you know. Assuming I can. Um, move Harkin down as well. I'm going to leave those guys over here. scary, man. He hasn't moved. But like, I don't know. What if he does? I don't know. Okay, well you can't do jack shit. Cause her res is insane too, isn't it? Holy shit, her res is 28? What the fuck, dude? I might have Harkin use the Brave Sword for this one. Wow. Wow. Um... This is kind of shitty. I have... Yeah, next turn I need to kill her. Uh, this turn I have to hope he doesn't kill me. I really want it. So... Please don't fucking yank it from me. From my cold dead hands. And please don't kill a galt. Okay. <laughs> that was a little scary. Uh, can I even steal it? Yes. Okay. Give me that earth seal, dog. Eh, it was all worth it. Alright, so can I... <sighs> so your speed's 19. Effectively. So if I use something that isn't the brave sword... Like, if I use the Manicotti, I outspeed, right? Speed 17. Speed 19. Oh, I see, I see. <sighs> um... I could weaken her using Harkin. She can't kill him, so it's okay if I do this. I should say she can't kill him this round. I don't think that she'll be able to live to enemy phase, so I'm not worried. Um, Elleward can kill. Lynn just can't. If Lynn fucks that up, she dies, so I don't want to do it.
God damn. If I use... Alright, well... Let's make sure you die. That was terrifying. I never want to do that again. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> if he got the 6% on Hector, I would have been so fucking butthurt. Alright, thank god. Alright, so that's taken care of. Now... If I... Do this, make sure that you're out of the way. So, if I attack you with you, and with you, that'll bring it down to Lin range. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go for it. Let's go. Come on. Show me what you got. If I could get this kill with Lin, that would be great. Otherwise, I'm falling back on Ella to do it. It's not even necessary that I kill her, man, but... But I mean, I really want to, so we're doing it. Come on. All right, you're in. You're in. You're in kill range now. You're in kill range now. I'm risking so much. Come on, Lynn. Come on, Lynn. Fuck yes. Oh, God. This can't. Lady. So, yeah. Mmm, feels good. Worth it. Yeah, it was a good level. You know, it was alright. It was an alright level. And everyone's alive, so... So I guess it's over. I fucking did it! One take. Whew. It's an intense chapter, guys. It's it pretty fucking hard. Really, I'm really glad that I did that in one take. Ah, the lights are back. The rebels. What's happened? I have to make sure Mother is well. Hello? Is anyone there? And then we flee. Ha <laughs> ha. Jafar! Nino. Hmm. Glad you're well! Why do you not kill me? If we did that, Nino might die as well. He didn't take the prince's life, so we won't take yours. It's that simple. So naive. Do you know how many of your friends I've killed? You monster! I'll- Hector, calm yourself! Bah! Some sins cannot be forgiven, but now we need all the help we can get to defeat Nurgle. Jafar, you're planning on throwing your life away, correct? If you've come to regret so many of your past actions, then fight with us. Regret. Such emotions mean nothing. Jafar! If you want me to, I'll do it. Jafar! That's good, isn't it, Nino? Mm. Thank you, thank you! Ah, uh, Hector. I mean, I can't blame him. Jafar literally is the one who killed his best spy. <laughs> Ursula. Beyond hearing so soon. This is quite excellent quintessence. I believe Lord Nurgle will be pleased. What could his majesty be thinking? Detaining me for so long, with no just cause. <laughs> what? No, it can't be the prince. C commander Commander Murdoch! You, you must come! What has happened? 
My apologies for the wait. The Queen will see you now. Very well. Let us proceed. The Queen of Burn. Even if it is a private audience, cur courtly niceties aren't my strong suit exactly. Mine either. Let's go. Oh my god, this fucking bitch. Ah, so you've returned, and you were successful? You recovered the Fire Emblem safely? Queen Helen. Has no one told you? Last night in the manse. Oh, something about assassins sneaking in, was it? I've no time for such trifles. Wow. Quickly, the emblem. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't give it to her. <laughs> like, the fuck? Whoops, I forgot to read that out loud. Ah, if this isn't the Fire Emblem, haha. <laughs> With this, my Zephyl holds a rightful claim to, this, to succession. Now it will never pass to that annoying Guinevere. Queen Helen. Oh yes, I'd forgotten. Your promised reward. The road to the Shrine of Seals, was it not? I have a pressing question to ask of you first. What is His Royal Highness Prince Zephyl to you? I beg your pardon? His Highness Zephyl is your true-born son, isn't he? Or is he, like the Fire Emblem, nothing more than a tool for securing the throne? How dare you! Such insolence! To whom do you think you are speaking? This has nothing to do with the title. You're free to possess your desires and aspirations. But your own innocent son, how can you do anything that places His Highness's life at risk? What? What do you mean? Of, of what do you speak? Didn't you hear us? Assassins nearly killed. Lindus, that's enough. I beg your leave. Yeah, fuck you. I go fuck about the Shrine of Seals. Someone, someone stop those insolent children. My Lady Queen. Murdoch, I thought you'd been summoned to the castle by his majesty. That is correct. I've only just returned. One of my men told me all that happened last night. There's something that I must inform you of, Your Majesty. Well, that's that, huh? Lord Pent, Lady Louise, I ruined a perfectly good opportunity. I'm terribly sorry. You said nothing that I did not agree with. Do not think long on it. Lady Helen has changed. Before she got married, she was a kind woman who wanted to be a good wife and mother. She and the king are ill-matched. She has suffered much. And now she's obsessed with this succession. Such a sad life. His parents are alive. Yet they're both awful. I feel so sorry for him. Even if it was just, I should have left it unsaid. I angered the queen, and in doing so lost the only aid we had in Burn. It's over and done with. No sense worrying about it now. Let's consider our next course of action. Wait, who's there? Like, go no farther. Queen Helen. What are you? Where are your guards? Your name. It is Elwood, yes? Take this book and this seal. My reward to you. Your Majesty. This book contains the road to the Shrine of Seals. The seal was a wedding present from Count Regle from Etruria. I was saving it for Zephiel, but... I believe at this time that you need it more. Furthermore, your path will remain clear for the next three days. No matter what happens during that time, Burn's soldiers will not move. I can make no promises about the King's own troops, though. You've done more than enough. You have my heartfelt gratitude. But Your Majesty, why all of this for us? <sighs> I want to thank you, not as a queen, but as a mother, for saving my son. I am forever in your debt. Now, you should get going. Queen Helen. Zephyl? Mother is something amiss. You, you've endured so much heartache because of me. I'm sorry. But that's not so. Zephyl, my dear, irreplaceable son, from this day forward, I want us to live together as a loving family. Your father and I, and your sister Guinevere, too. Mother. Oh wow, he got his prayer. Well, not really. I mean, ask. I mean, 
<laughs> to be fair, Desmond isn't saying this, so I guess he didn't. <laughs> I'm ashamed of the way I behaved. The king may not forgive me for the woman I've been, yet I shall make recompense, no matter the time. I want to change. If I speak to him from the heart, someday he will understand. After all, we're a family. That's right, he'll see. No, he won't. I promise he won't. I fucking promise that he won't. So the book is a map. But what's this seal? Hector, you fucking used one of them already. This is a heaven seal. To receive something so valuable. She really listened to you, didn't she? Damn, let's take him and go. She listened to us, didn't she? Ellawood. <laughs> How's your hearing, buddy? That's right, all of us. I guess. Let's make for the Shrine of Seals. Once we make it there, something's bound to happen. Well, I'll just give it to Merlinus for now, I guess. Of course I want to accept the side quest. You fucking know I want to accept that side quest! BAM! Alright. Pretty pumped that we're gonna get this side quest right now. <laughs> it ensures that we get Jafar as a playable character, and that's awesome. It's one of the best units, so... At least, as far as a sword-locked unit can go, he's one of the best fucking units. He starts with such good stats, don't fucking fight- don't- you don't, don't want to fight me on this. You'll see. He's great. So, I'm pretty hyped about that. Uh, next time, here on Just Alone, we're gonna be playing more Fire Emblem, we're gonna do this side quest. Um, a lot's gonna happen, actually. If you thought we were done with over-emotional family drama, now, now that we've dealt with Prince Zephyr, you'd be fucking wrong, because there's more shit to deal with. And it's all shit that's related to this green-haired, shrill-voiced horror right here. You know? <laughs> I really like her character, I just couldn't hold that back for some reason. Anyway, I'll see you guys all there next time. Should be in two days on Thursday. Love you all, thanks for watching, and have a beautiful rest of your night. Mwah. Peace.